It is D-Day for the Constructors Championship. Haas versus McLaren. Can Sack build on his momentum from winning the Drivers' Championship last week? We're about to find out as we're at the season finale here at the Yas Marina circuit in Abu Dhabi. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, from McKinsey here. Welcome to the start of tonight's XRL coverage, sponsored by Ants 3 d CDs and WAP. 3.4 miles to the circuit, two DRS zones, 21 corners to negotiate, 12 to the left, 9 to the right. 60% of the throttle. Zack, come to back tonight. We're about to the box as always. For the chip to side of the sea. Hello, Kenzie, and thank you for your welcome. Uh, hello, everyone. We are today in the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix, the last se the last race of the season number three of extreme racing leagues it's amazing how this we we all started with a dream and now we're in season finishing season number three right indeed and season four is gonna be february 28th that is the start date for the new season of the xrl and the cal is as follows we have we have got uh we've got uh, a couple of uh breaks in March 28th and June 13th, respectively. Uh, the rest of the weeks up until June 20th, they are as follows. We've got Silverstone. We are kicking off with the British Grand Prix in two weeks' time for season four. Then it's Azerbaijan, Bahrain, Canada. And then after Canada, it's the first of our week-long breaks. And then it'll be Netherlands, the whole of Supermax. Then Australia, Singapore, Spain, Austria, Belgium, Hungary, Mexico, May 23rd for our anniversary weekend. Then off to Monza and France, June 13th for the for the second of our week, second of our break weeks, and then June 20th for the season finale at Brazil. That's how the calendar shapes up for next season. And it's it's definitely a big departure from how we've done the previous three seasons. Yeah, it's very, very good. I'm about to show the calendar on the stream and we're going to be watching at what Kenzie just told us. But today, tell us about today, Kenzie. What, what do we have to expect today in, this, in the race? It's well, Abu Dhabi. But it's it's going to be very interesting to see how McLaren are going to be able to pick themselves up after after what was an absolute nightmare in more ways than one, especially for Path after that spectacular crash into Ledger last week. And uh, Path is actually racing this evening. He is it's uh, King F1 that has uh, filled his slot at McLaren for. This evening let's go through the rest of the lineup for this evening we've got sasha back after his race ban in brazil last week we've got our we've got our two-time back-to-back drivers champion sack hazel erdica ollie zola in alfa romeo this evening our dev league champion smooth ledger danny anderson mon waddington jbl king we've already mentioned penku cj and ultimate it's going to be a very exciting race. Sasha is yeah. back. Yeah, it's Ulti good. Ultimate, ultimate it's with four wins in a row. Could he and could, could he round the fifth win? Indeed, he made he made, uh, he made some uh, very significant history uh, in Brazil last week. The first ever Grand Slam in the XRL pole win fastest look and leading from lights flag nobody could touch him all nobody could touch him all weekend and i wouldn't be too surprised if he's up there challenging for the title next season especially with, especially with it being a shorter calendar compared to previous seasons but nevertheless he's only got a couple of corners left to go 
has run the final corner and at the first lap time of qualifying today. 33-9. First lap of qualifying for today. 133.9 for the first lap from XRL Ultimate. We're going to be watching. Laps are about to get incoming. Sack with a 134.0. Uh, just over a tenth, just over a tenth behind him. Uh, and also, and also when uh, talking of championships, folks, um, in the X3 championship, guys, it's a three-way battle. For the drivers championship it's gonna be that that is gonna be an absolute barnstormer and we've just been informed by harry who used to commentate for me in x1 now racing in x3 he has just informed us that the x3 qualifying has rain how's about that and the race it's also a wet race for x3 that is good oh that is gonna be an absolute barnstormer for the season finale in the X, a three-way dance for the championship in the rain. What more could you ask for? Oh, it's amazing. It's going to be a very good yeah. uh, season finale. Indeed. And in next so one, far... we have we have uh, we, we just received the weather report for X one. It's uh, the qualifying session is a little bit cloudy uh, be within. 15 minutes it's going to be it it says dry conditions and overcast but you know it can it can change at any time so it could probably be a, a, a q3 a wet q3 or it could probably be uh dry all, all the way and the race is going to be uh, it's going to be dry clear sky and dry conditions yeah the race is going to be clear indeed so there we go that's our last weather forecast of the season ultimate currently fastest with a 33 sacks retired from the session he's happy this time cj round the final corner 34 0 5 3 fourth at the moment so while so while the drivers championship was decided last week uh albeit in Pretty dramatic circumstances uh, and I was actually I was actually saying this to myself earlier today that uh, uh, past crash into ledger that was you could see that was our is that Glock moment for this season oh yeah I think so it was a very very weird crash you know it was a, a situation where uh, ledger got a, a glitch from the game and that affected uh, Pat's championship so just the game didn't yeah. want him to win. Yeah, but I was a massive commiserations to him for that. Um, uh, uh, there's not really much in the way of permutations in regards to the constructors' championship, but I will say this: all has all has to need to do is outscore McLaren, even by just one point, to wrap up the constructors' championship. McLaren. Got a bit of a mountain to climb. There, and there we are. That's how that's how it looks at the moment. Uh, Williams, all but securing third place in the championship right now. Haas are 20 points ahead. 21 points for McLaren. More than Haas this evening. Bit of a tall order, but we saw it. We saw it happen in Brazil last week. Anything can happen. So, so McLaren outscoring Haas by, by 21 points this evening will wrap up the constructors championship and help path and nilsson especially help soften the blow of uh, not being able to wrap up the drivers champion and, and king of one is one of the drivers that were that was racing in the dev league but he was he was fast so he would probably uh, be a good contender for fighting uh, has today and we we already know anderson he is a very consistent driver, and if he, he he's fast, if he gets out of incidents, he can get a very good amount of points. Absolutely. We'll wait and see how it all plays out. Here comes Waddington, 35-2, just outside the top 10 at the moment. Some drivers still haven't put a lap on, like Irdika, he's just about to finish a lap. So Lamon also. 
We're going to be watching Erdika, who is just yeah. about to finish his lap. Yeah, it's been a season to forget for Red Bull. They came into the season as the defending constructors' championships, and they and they've been fighting to keep themselves off the bottom of the table. Uh, Erdika, thirty-six three. And there's only 17 drivers this evening, so we're only going to be losing two drivers from this first part of qualifying. Uh, actually, uh, what you said about uh, the constructors' champion, about uh, Red Bull, it's it's true. Let's let's watch to let's watch the the, st the constructors' standings. One second. And, and let's see the, the the bottom part of the table. It's Aston Martin, Red Bull, and Renault. They're just fighting for the last position at the table with yeah. one point. One point between them. One point between them. One of them's going to walk away with the win. Yep. Here comes Mon. Meanwhile, across the line, thirty-four-seven. Again, just on just on the fringe of the top ten. Right up. Uh, here is Zola for um, Alfa Romeo this evening. So I'll have a look. Have a look. What's doing the? Uh, what's doing the uh, stream chat? Yeah. So oh, good. Uh, the audio working well. So it's been a. Uh, so it's been it's been a busy seven days or so in the world of uh, sports. We had the yes, we had the Six Nations get on the way last week uh congratulations as well to the tampa bay buccaneers for winning the super bowl last sunday as well uh and we're also uh, from all of us here at the xrl we're also wishing fernando alonso a very speed recovery after his uh traffic accident while cycling earlier this week and he he ended up undergoing surgery on his upper jaw and the surgery was a success the Hopefully it doesn't affect him too much heading into the uh, preseason testing, and we're just and we're just we're just about a month away from the start of the new Formula One season proper in the desert of Bahrain. Smooth, the only driver yet to settle that time. So I'll be very intrigued to see how McLaren will be able to pick themselves up and hopefully try and close the gap. Maybe even take Haas to win the championship today. So I'm, so I'm going to ride on board with Smooth for a lap round this Yas Marina circuit. Made its de debut on the, on the F1 calendar in 2009 and has been traditionally the new finishing point of this season. It's only been a couple of it, uh, it, the season finale. One of those uh, occasions being 2012, where it was Brazil being the season finale, wrapping up this championship in the process there as well. Down this back, down this long DRS straight. Yellow flags in sector three. That's you know, just for one of the Mercedes drivers, I would imagine. Not taking too much curve through that chicane there is smooth. Second DRS straight. And then another chicane. Left, right, left. And then you just get a, then you get a couple of small right handers here, followed by this one here. Having to break a lot, having to break quite aggressively there to try and make the corner. We've only got a couple of corners left to go. About four and a half minutes left to go in the session. Around the final corner. Uh, not, the, not the fastest time in the world. 36-9, bottom of the pack. Waddington on 
a hot lap at the moment, as is Hazel. Penku retired from the session. Wellington up into seventh to 34 2. Very, very satisfied with that time, I would imagine. And also, uh, there's, a bit, there's a bit of love in the air today, guys. So, uh, happy Valentine's Day as well. A lot of the drivers inside the top 10 time from the session. Still flag six to three that of the Red Bulls. That was, was that? that was King. 34-3. Puts him ninth at the moat. Who knows, who knows how the rest of this evening is going to play out. Ollie retires from this session. A lot of the drivers outside the top 10, they'll be going for some more. And going for another lap or two to try and push themselves further up the grid. Like I said, we've only got, we're only going to be losing the two drivers from this first part of the quaff out of the drop zone one more time from the session that's old it's about 30 seconds to go Oh, Erdika's invalidated his lap. It's okay. Time for another lap. Time for one more. There he goes across the line. Last chance to get himself out of, out of Q1. Danny is already a tenth up on his time. Could Ledger be knocked out here? So he's got, oh, he's, oh, Danny's three tenths up. This is going to be interesting. Three tenths up. Can he make up a bit more time? Put Ledger in danger of elimination. He's not going to be improving, so he'll be starting at the back of the grid.
Danny coming around the last corner now. What's he going to pull out of the bag? Oh, ho, 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 all the way up to ninth. It is very, very close. And Zola's Zul invalidated. Only Erdogan can, can stop him from getting through into Q2 now. Five, five to beat. It looks like Erdogan might be able to do it here. He does. Erdogan just knocks Zola out of Q1. The ultimate Penku, Saka, Sack, CJ, Ollie, Waddington, Hazel, Danny, and on through into Q2. And Zol being hated. I'm back. Um... In the stream, there's a, he's not a big track. I was about to tell you, can see? Can you can yeah. listen to me? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. We have right now 17 cars because uh, I believe Ryan, Ryan Hurricane, is going to be joining during the quali uh, during the quali, so he won't be able to do quali, I, I believe. And a Mercedes so he'll be car back during the race. Yeah, and Mercedes car has a race ban. Right. Which then, which the, which leaves, uh, which leaves, uh, which leaves somebody else unaccounted for. Yeah. Yeah. So here we go. Strategy time. Who's strategy time? Who's going to start time. on what tire? Let me know if you see first car coming out. I cannot see them. I believe it's the Williams of Extra Ultimate. Or yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's a racing point. It's a racing, racing point, point of Sasha. First guy in the track, racing point of Sasha. Racing point who is changing his their name this season in the real F1. What do you think about Aston Martin? Oh yeah, I say it's it's gonna be great. It's gonna be great seeing a, a, an iconic British name. In the world of Formula One, next season. Yeah, I, just... I, I'm, I am, I am very much looking forward to seeing that classic British racing green back oh. on the grid. Yeah, that's a that's a good color, to be honest. One of the most, one of the best yeah. colors. <laughs> that racing green. Yeah, let's say, let's say it's the, let's say the last time we actually saw somewhat British racing green on the Formula One grid was, of course. The lean mean green machines of Jaguar back in 2004 before they rebranded as Red Bull. Oh. And of course, for those that don't know how, for those that don't know how strategy works in uh, this part of qualifying, uh, if you make it into the top ten, we losing losing five, we losing, we're losing the slowest five cars from this part of qualifying. If you make it into the top 10, the tyres you set the fastest lap on in this part of qualifying are the tyres you start the race on. Of yeah, course, it's the, this track you want to the, start the, with the, the tyres that we've got this evening. Yeah, go for the it. The tyres we've got it. this evening, it's the softest tyres of... It's the softest tyres of the Pirelli range, the C5, C4 and C3. So, imagine, ideally, you'll be looking to start on the mediums to guarantee doing a one-stop here. If you're starting the socks, you might realistically be looking for a two-stop. Yeah, it's going to be it's going to be in this track the best option is mostly medium tire. Had to start with the medium tire, but remember X1 is very tricky and everyone wants to get into Q3. And the, the, remember the, the gaps within within P2 or P P1 to P16, those those gaps were half a second or, or within a second so it's going to be very interesting to see who gets to 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 get a uh, you, you that will be interesting on who gets to start on the on the medium tires uh, so let's saying in the chat you can do one stop on both ways 12 soft 12 laps in soft 16 on the mediums yeah 
Yeah. Yeah, tw- yeah, tw- yeah, 28 laps around the track. It, it, it is, it is difficult. It just, it would just, um, it would just be quite, it would just require a bit more time management than, uh, than normal. Yeah, exactly. You need to, to do a Checo Perez there. <laughs> yeah. And of course, with, and of course, with how many, cor- with how many corners this, uh, this track has, you're probably going to be looking at running a, f- running, so like moderate, moderate front wings uh, to be able to take the corners as uh, cleanly as possible yeah. but of so course not, but of course not too much either. of course not too much wing though otherwise you're going to end up uh, with a lot of drag which will affect you uh, down the straight as well yeah because we have two, two long straights with a DRS so yeah Indeed. you're going to be yeah so Sasha first lap of Q2 34-3 so um and then we've got a 34-7 from Peng Kub. Uh, e Parjid, uh, however you print with that. Let's go. I, w- I want to DG this day. Welcome along this evening, good sir. JBL 35-0 puts him fourth at the moment. Everybody going out, everybody on mediums, interestingly. And there's, and there's Hurricane in the session. So, so we've got Hazel now. Small lock up there. Very much looking forward to see how it's all going to play out. And uh, another another big thing we've got we've got some uh, so we've got Hazel with a three four four put some second uh, Portugal is going to be. Filling the uh, vacant slots left by Vietnam, and we've also got some. We've also got Lewis Hamilton signing a new one-year deal with Mercedes, which begs the question: Is he going to be retiring at the end of this season? Assuming eighth championship, there's, been, there's also going to be an there's also going to be a development freeze on. There's also going to be a development freeze on engine, on the engine developments. Uh, as I did. As I was, I was, I was just, um, I was just um, bringing the, the viewers up to speed with regards to some of the, uh, some of the big news stories over the course of this week. Hamilton signing a new one-year deal with Mercedes. Portugal filling in the filling in the vacant slot that was left by the first three races of the season, and uh, tomorrow. Yeah, Portimao is going to be interesting. I mean, dare I say, dare I say much better than Spain. Yeah, definitely. I, 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 I do not like too much Spain. Uh, uh, tell our, our viewers about the new, the, the calendar again, if you can. Yes. Yes, yes, uh, a calendar for next season. We are going to be kicking off. There it is on screen, folks. We've got February 28th for Silverstone, the start of the new season. We've got our break weeks on March 28th and June 13th. May 23rd is our XRL anniversary weekend, and we traditionally have that at Mexico. And June 20th for the season finale in Brazil. 
in the rest of the tracks this season. Azerbaijan, Bahrain, Canada, the Netherlands, Australia, Singapore, Spain, Austria, Belgium, Hungary, Mexico, Italy, and France. So that's yes. how the calendar shapes up for next season. We and oh, that's a that's a big question from Wavy. Is Kenzie going to be commentating next season? You, I can guarantee I'm going to be commentating for X1 with Caesar next season. Yeah, and uh, Zola in the stream chat be... saying, yeah, Mexico and Brazil were the only races that weren't going to be randomized. It's a, it's, it's a completely randomized season as far as uh, which which races go. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, drivers, yeah uh, drivers voted for, for their tracks, which tracks they wanted to race in. Uh, we did a poll, drivers voted, and we we got the most voted races. Uh, we also had to include Mexico, as uh, it's the league home race, and we had to do it in the league uh, uh, anniversary. And <laughs> and Brazil, well, it's, it, it Brazil needs to be in the calendar and needs to be the the last race of the season. That's that's a must. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. Those those were the only two races that were fixed on the calendar yeah wellington is right now in his hot lap so there you go so, so there you go viewers that's how the uh that's how the commentary is shaping up for next season and lopez for x1 ruby and herbie for x2 harry and insane for the x3 and I and uh, Lopez is also going to be commentating on the Saturdays next season as well for the Development League with Isaac. Yep, yeah, I'm going to be commentating, and and I'm not sure if I'm going to be also commentating on XNA on Wednesdays. I, as that's the only mo real moment that uh, if I want to that I want to race, if I want to race, I mean, that's the the real actual moment if I want yeah, to race. Yeah, that's about that. But that's I'm a very not valid sure. Point in yeah but but of, but of course I'll, but of course i will i will say i'll say this right now uh caesar you have done an absolutely fantastic job getting this league to where it is now uh, it's not just me it has it's i, I just created it to be honest <laughs> i created it yeah. and, and 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 started a little bit for on season one but then got a major help from all the admins that have been through all xrl times and and that's that's yeah. uh, that's a good thing, you know. Absolutely, and going, um, and I'm, I'm just going to say this right now, guys. Uh, everyone that has supported us from the start and throughout our journey to to where we are right now, massive thank you to everyone that has supported us for being supporting us by watching the race every week and following us on. Twitch, buying merchandise from our shops, and uh, taking advantage of uh, the deals that sponsors have as well. But and talking about sponsors, can see we possible. have this season we had uh, a new sponsor coming on, coming to the XRL family. Uh, the new sponsor is called Clutch ah, Control. Ah, excellent. Uh, we have it right now in screen. Clutch Control is a company that makes uh, it is. grips for the controller, so all the pad drivers yep. can race a lot more comfortable with these uh, grips for the thumbsticks. And well, if you if you get to ClutchControl.com, uh, you get a five percent discount with uh, the code Extreme Ten. Extreme Ten for uh, Clutch Control. Remember the all the the the. Everything you need, the information, every, every information you need is going to be la uh, put in the Discord server in the channel of, um, what do you mean? In the channel of the sponsors. It's called sponsors. Indeed. Ah, yeah, and we get like, a baby coming to XRL family next season. <laughs> I'm going to be, it's going to be on May. It's, it's due May or, or, or April. And let's go back yeah. to the race session. So we now have uh, Ansi3D, CD Keys, OneTap, and new to the family of XRL, 
clutch control. control. Yeah. And there screams, folks. As a as a as a pad, as a pad myself, it is. Uh, I say it's, def it's definitely something that I feel. It's definitely something that's gonna. I say, ha having those. Um, having clutch control there, it's definitely going to be fantastic to be able to uh, take advantage of the um, of what they have in their in their uh, the merchandise range. Yeah, and also uh, remember, uh, we are going to be we have the extreme points. Extreme points are channel points from Twitch that you can uh, you can. You, you, you earn points by just watching the stream participating and the and the activities like uh, predictions and you can you can do like a betting game here in the twitch game remember you can uh, you can use those points to redeem uh, for merchandise merch from for extreme from extreme race leaks like a t-shirt uh, an Ansu 3d tra printed track um, a, an extra cup uh, and we also included the clutch control grips uh, into the into those and remember if you get if you get to the points just redeem them redeem your points for what you want in the channel and uh, extra is going to cover all the expenses for shipping uh, and everything for uh, to, to ship it to you yeah they it's just like I, like I mentioned, absolutely amazing to see how far we've come. Uh, there we go. Uh, anyway, uh, back to the action. Uh, Q2 has just finished, and uh, Waddington out in Q2. Erdika's out late. There still needs to be a bit of time. And oh, oh, he's actually oh, he's actually run out of fuel. So Waddington, Ledger, Erdika, Danny, and King all. all out of uh, qualifying, which leaves Ollie, JBL, CJ, Seth, Ash, Mon, and Ultimate all through into Q3 for the top for the last top ten shootout of the season. Yeah, and it's interesting how King F1 did not make a, a time, you know, because he's fighting for the championship for the constructor championship today. Absolutely, that's a that's a very bizarre decision not to set a lap time. And Zola just informing us that Anderson could very well be the dark horse in X1 next season, which is a very valid point. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, looking at that time, 34-2 on the soft tires as well. That's definitely. Oh man, Anderson! I, I raced him uh, on, in the, in Mexico in X1 this season. I was all the race we were together. All the race, even in, even in our pit stops, and the the, the only the only chance I, I the only reason I I got I finished in a better position than him is because he got time penalties. So he he's really fast. I, I, I consider myself fast in in Mexico track, not in not in all the tracks, only in Mexico. <laughs> but uh, he he was he was doing fantastic. You know, he was driving. Uh, very well, defending very well, very respectful. So he 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 can get there into into the next season. Yeah, and, 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 li and like Zola, and like Zola just said, potentially a dark horse for X one next season. Yeah. Uh, also, what is the second? That plays out. What is done again? Going out in Q two, just deciding to to get the start on the mediums instead of going for the soft tire. Yeah, it's not, the, not the, it's not the first time he's done that. He's, he's actually done that quite regularly throughout the whole throughout the whole season. Harry, Harry's saying maybe he loves comeback drives. Ah, yes, I was actually <laughs> yeah, talk talking comeback drives from Waddington, Harry. I was actually what I was actually watching some older. Uh, I was actually watching some older XRL races, and um, uh, during the week. And one of the races that I decided to watch was was Waddington's championship-winning drive 
in X1 at Mexico way back in season one. Yeah, X uh, season one, that's where he won the championship, remember? Yeah, and, and, I have, and I had the honor of calling that race. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> We also have yeah. the video. We st I think we still have the video of the of the championship win. I don't have it at Kant to play it, but yeah, we. Ah yes, yeah. Because we, we we said we de we definitely have we definitely have that moment somewhere, somewhere, in, somewhere online. We was if, if I as I, I as I, as soon as I source it, we'll be able to we'll get it up onto the XRL YouTube channel. So here we go. Top ten shot time. Let's. Interesting, you can see we are right now in P in the second row of the. If you go to Twitch and you click on F1 2020, we are in the second row with 55 spectators. I believe it's because we are the F1 Esports Virtual GP is happening at the same time as X1. So, yes, yes but the virtual Grand Prix. That's the virtual Grand Prix. That's getting underway in about 15 minutes time yeah but i mean apart from the esports virtual gp we are the second league in the twitch appearing That's absolutely yeah. fantastic yeah man it's amazing yeah they, they, at least at least with the, the virtual Grand Prix series it's keeping it's keeping not just F1 drivers busy, but it's keeping the fans entertained as well. Yeah, that's true. I'm going to be doing a very short <laughs> poll here. Oh. <laughs> there we go. Who's going to win the Constructors' Championship? McLaren or Haas? What do you think, Kenzie? McLaren or Haas? Uh, well, mathem mathematically, mathematically, I'd have to go with Haas, but uh, hey, you never know. Yeah, Zach, Zach can, can, can get into an incident. Wellington can get into an incident. Even everyone can get into an incident, but you know, everything can happen. Yeah. And, and the phrase, everything can happen, reminds me yep. of Pat in Brazil. You know, nobody expected that. Yeah, exactly. I mean, who who thought that? Remember, he did that... he did a fantastic undercut on Sack. Yeah, with with the pit stop. So he he was he was ahead of Sack after the first round of pit stops, and then it just unraveled so quickly, and then the final nail in the coffin, crashing into Ledger's car, and that was it. That was curtains for the championship. Yeah, it's everything can happen, man. Yeah. Drive fast, it has. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Yeah, okay, it's not, not the first time we've not, <laughs> not the first time we've seen that pop up this season. Anderson, thirty-four three. Interesting time. Remember, we saw 33.9 from Ultimate in Q1. We're going to be. And we've got 33.8 from CJ. Hello. Thirty-three four from Sasha. 33.4. <laughs> oh, could we see it on 32 here? Could we see it on 32? Oh, we see CJ Allen. I think he's spun. Yeah, he's spun. Oh, oh, yeah. there. Currently second at the moment. Uh, an interesting fact also, uh, Warrington and Sack are the champions of the Constructors' Champions last season with the Red Bulls. So if they win this, uh, this, is, this season, they are going to be... <laughs> Sack is going to have two Drivers' Championships and two Constructors' Championships on his belt. It's amazing. Indeed. Is it Wanting to know have a wanting to know have a, a second constructors championship under his belt uh, yeah. this evening. Hopefully, he, he's already got one under his belt with uh, Red Bull last season. 
Yeah, he got it with Zack. For last season. Voting right now has 75%, McLaren 25%. People think it's going to be uh, Haas, the, the guys that are going to be winning the championship. Uh, yeah. It's likely, but look at the standings right now, at the positions. Anderson and Zach are really are close, are, re are really close. And remember, uh, King F1 and Waddington are both out, were both out in Q2. So it's going to be very interesting watching King F1 coming from last to first, you know? And the, ab about that, about that, remember, in in dev i don't know if you were uh, if you noticed that but in dev league king f1 started p20 and win and won the race on he, sta he started he started so dead last yeah so he is a good a very very good uh, comeback driver i believe he was racing cj allen and i don't remember who else he was racing but he was racing fast guys that day yeah but of, but of course, Devly, Devly to X1. That's a big, big leap. That's yeah, that's a big gap. <laughs> that's yeah. Like that's that that's going that's going from that's the equivalent of going from the kids' pool right into the deep end of the adult pool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's very different, but also it's it's it's, it's definitely can surprise you. It has very very good uh, and fast. Uh, Drivers. Yeah. Oh, we see. We have Pat in the chat. Yeah. The, in the, what it, what he's been saying as well. Uh, King is quick. Better something from him. You heard it yeah. first, folks. Yeah, he's really, really quick. To be honest, uh, people has won with eighty-two percent. People think Has is going to be winning the constructors' championship today. If it is going to be history again, you know, because. Two constructor championships in a row that from for both of them, that is history for XRL. Indeed, it's um, but it's like, but it's like as a as a partnership, Sack and Waddington have worked incredibly well together over the last couple of seasons. Yeah, they're very good at at, at working and as a team. Yeah. But at the end of the day, we just don't know what's going to happen as far as the lineup are concerned. Because at the moment, we don't know what the lineups are going to be heading into um, next and, season. Yeah, and you know what, Kenshi? Zach and Wellington are two drivers that uh, that they are teammates and they know how to play teams. But they also won mm -hmm. the drivers' championship, you know, because they also be, they also fought, they have fought uh, for positions during the season. Absolutely. You never know in XRL, that's true, man. Yeah. It's, be very, uh, it's definitely going to be interesting to see if they stay as teammates for next season or if they're going to be in separate teams that they end up becoming proper championship rivals. What would you do? Jib won twice the Constructors' Championship. Would you go for a new teammate? Or would you stay with the same? <laughs> consider consider Ultimate's back. He's back. And Ooh, he's yeah, won the last point. four races. Consider King of One is now in 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 in, in, in next one. Consider Beerbus could probably get into X1, if he can make the time. Consider, yeah, there are a lot of, 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 of difference. Sasha is any, there. If anything, I think, if anything, I, I would try and stick with the teammate I have to try and get another Constructors Championship. But you're going to be running for it, right? Yeah, you're going to be, have a hard time. Yeah. Though. Because yeah. we still Sorry. don't know. We still don't know Ultimate's uh, partner, who's going to be his teammate. Yeah. Indeed. To go, he's currently fastest at the moment with a one thirty-three zero. I think. I think we are going to be seeing a one thirty-two here. 
Zach is in, he just started his, ad, his uh, fast lap. We want to commentate on him. One minute for the end yeah. of qualifying session. Absolutely. Oh, we have spoiler in the chat. Wellington saying we'll separate when we lose it. Let's hope. Let's hope. Uh, Zach oh, thinks it well as well. Oh, hey, help! <laughs> hey, help! Well, in the F2, the tag beaten by one point. Oof! Another XRL title for Zach this season. He has one XNA. XNA, <laughs> XNA yes. F2, and X1. Yeah, man, these, these guys is crazy. We need to say that. I mean, if that if that in itself doesn't deserve driver of the season, I don't know what does. Yeah, definitely. And and we we need to to start talking about esports with Zach. <laughs> yes. E oh, oh 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 oh! More spoilers in the chat. Look at what Pat said. Ultimate teammate. I wonder who that could be. Oh, are we are are we actually getting? <laughs> sounds like we're getting some teases <laughs> of some of the uh, team lineups for next season. Oh boy! I mean, oh my word! What a combination that would be! Path yeah. and ultimate. Yeah, that's a, what win, a, a championship be. winning. The, the, the yeah, that is that is going to be serious championship winning look, material there. Ultimate just got pole position. P1, 133 yeah. That's a from session. And actually, I believe, I believe Ultimate now has the most pole positions in the league. Assuming nobody can beat him. Assuming nobody can beat him, yeah, I, I believe so. Let me uh, see the record Panku right now. Panku 33-6. Yeah, if, if Ultimate gets the pole position, he's the driver with the most pole positions in the entire league. Yeah, because because uh, of course, because of course it is a three-way tie between Nielsen, Path, and Ultimate for uh, pole position, uh, for the number of pole positions. They all got nine each. And he would get I ten with this one. I don't think it's going to be. I don't think anybody could have beaten him. Zach's not going to be doing it. All he's invalidated his lap. Shane Gale's invalidated as well. Only CJ. And Only CJ, CJ could beat him. Beat. Oh, this is going to be tight. Oh, it's going to be close. No, he's not done it. He's not done it. He goes fourth, though. So there we go. Ultimate double, ultimate double digits. Double digit pole positions for, for Ultimate. Ten pole positions in his career. In X2 and 1, it's amazing. More history made here this, this season, ladies and gentlemen. It has the most wins of anybody in X1. He now has the most pole positions of anyone in X1. He also got, he's also got the most fastest laps of anybody. Absolutely <laughs> phenomenal. Yeah, it's going to be very interesting watching Ultimate and Pat fighting w Waddington and yeah. let's go for the yeah. first what, prediction one, of the night. One, yeah. one, one, particular, um, one particular record that, uh, no, that uh, the Alfa Romeo boys aren't going to be too proud of is the fact that they're the only team on the grid that have no pole positions to their name. Nevertheless, this is how the grid shapes up for the top 10. Ultimate on pole, Dasher alongside him on the front row, Hazel, CJ, Penku, Sack, Ollie, Mon, Anderson, and JBL. That's how the top 10 shapes up. And now... Time for the predictions. Time to get... <laughs> yeah. Prediction time. Get your points in, guys. Yeah. Yeah, it's 
Yeah, it's a, sh it's, a sh it's a shame I can't put any points towards it because uh, I'm one of the uh, I'm one of the mods for the channel. Do you want me to, to change that for a second? <laughs> uh... I'm here. I, like, I can do mod today, so you can. It's 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 worth a shot. Okay, sure. let's go for it. Let's go for it. Uh, can see retro moderator. Okay, now you can get points in. There we go. Uh, cast prediction. There we go. Just remember me to get your moderator rolls again back. Yes, yes, yes. Ninety-eight percent right now says no. So if there's a safety card, the guy in that says yes <laughs> gets to be rich. Five thousand. Five thousand points in there. Five thousand points in there oh, oh well, that's a big that's a big shoot up oh more or less 50 yeah that's a lot of points on offer yeah that is a lot of points we could see yeah. the, the first driver uh oh, oh, oh we need to go for the message of our sponsors man let's go for it Are you looking for a more realistic F1 feel in your sim racing? ANSI 3D is the solution for you. ANSI 3D is a 3D printing company based in the United States. We sell F1 style wheels for Logitech G29, G920, and the G923 wheel set with all wheels including high quality real suede fabric on the handles for maximum comfort. All wheels can be fully customized by picking your own colors for the handles and buttons. Also, you get to select a free logo of your choice to be printed on your wheel. We also have all Formula One 3D printed tracks available for sale on our website. For more information or to place your order now, log on to our website at www.ansi3d.com. That's A-N-S-E 3D.com. Don't delay, check us out today. And now we're watching Clutch Control. That was for NC 3D video. Clutch Control, remember, you have a 5% discount on all the grips for your controllers. If you are a pad racer or a, a controller racer, remember, you uh, are going to be getting a 5% discount. And also, we're going to be doing a giveaway today uh, for all XRL drivers that are in the chat we're going to be giving away two sets of um, grips tom grips from clutch control we're going to be doing the giveaway live here i um, just need to fix something and and that will be it and i will let you know guys who is the winner probably after the race ends so there we go folks definitely definitely incentive to stay tuned for that so let's head back trackside as we look at the grid for the last race of the season we've got ultimate on pole position he now has the most pole positions of anybody in x1 history he's got sasha alongside him on the front row you got hazel and cj behind them top four starting on mediums penku and sack our x champion for this season they're starting on softs ollie on mediums behind them and then you've got mon Anderson and GBL starting on softs, rounding up top 10. And then the rest of the grid, you've got Wanchen on mediums, Ledge on softs, Erdika on mediums, Danny and King on softs, Zola, Smooth, Hurricane on the mediums. So here we go. Almost time for lights out for the last race of season three. Constructors Championship on the line. McLaren versus Haas. A duel in the desert for the Constructors Championship for this season finale. You guys ready? I know I am. Here come the lights. You know what time it is for the last time this season. It's lights out, and it's race time in Abu Dhabi. Clean start from a lot of the drivers here. Ultimate keeping his lead. Hazel and CJ almost uh, collecting wheels. Very tricky section through this part here. 
and clean as you like through the first sector. Very clean from the drivers. Yeah, it's very. Oh, they're losing, no, keeping the positions hassled right now, being overtaken, overtaking CJ Allen. Yeah, absolutely. And no oh, yellow flags. I think that was one. Of, I think that was Hurricane. I think. Back and one fighting for the position. Now he's fighting Anderson. Oh, yeah. incident! 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 Oh dear, oh dear, what happened there? I think that, I think that involved Anderson. That's, oh dear, Anderson's gone wide, that's not, that's not what I wanted. Anderson who started in all. Q1, now he needs to pit. It's going to be bad for McLaren today. Yeah, and it looks like, yeah. So there we go, that prediction. First lap safety car. If you, no. if you guess no, then uh, there you go. No, no, for, no safety car in the first lap. And Mon and Anderson first drivers in. So the running order at the end of lap one it is. So we got it's uh, ultimate in the lead. Sasha second, CJ third, Penku fourth, Hazel fifth, Sack sixth, JBL seventh, Ollie eighth, Waddington ninth, and Ledger rounding up the top ten. Harry Willits and two more drivers win 12.1 thousand <laughs> points. Oh, dear. Um, yeah. <laughs> Technically, we did have first lap safety car, but that was in the X3 race. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what are the odds? At least we... At least we, uh, so for those that voted yes, we did partially get it right. Mon and Anderson had to pit. And now are in P17 and P18. It's not good for for, my say, for McLaren because look at Wellington yeah, and Ledger. Yeah. And, and the crucial thing to take into account is that both McLarens are outside of the points as well. Yeah. So we're on to lap three now. DRS is now enabled. Fifty-two views on the stream right now. So big thanks to everybody tuning in for the season finale. Really yeah, right on the back of Sasha for second place. Is he going to be able to take full advantage of the DRS? I think he just might. Is he going to be closing it though? He's going to be closing it for the next DRS probably, but not this one. He's closing in, but he's not. He's not quite made the overtake. He'll have another crack down down this. Uh, Sasha uh, got a wheel spin. Oh, Sa Sasha almost losing the back end there. CJ going through the inside into second place. Easiest. Oh, big lock up there. Is that going to allow Sasha back through? No, it's not. CJ in second. Very well played there from CJ. Oh, with we've got a couple of we've got a couple of different trains now. Uh, well, at least we did. So we had uh, CJ uh, to Penku, and then we've got Sack down to Sack uh, uh, all the way down to Urquhart, just about.
Hazel got Hazel's gonna have DRS on Sag. This will this will be this will be interesting. Can can Hazel get ahead of Sack? Big lock up there from Sack. Is that gonna allow Hazel to get him to second DRS straight? Sack got up. Sack. Oh, Sack not making it easy for him. He had, he had a lot more traction coming out of that uh, coming out of that chicane. A small lock up there from Sack. Sack not make Sack not making it easy. Yes, he's won the drivers' championship, but he's not taking his foot off the gas anytime soon. He's got a constructors' championship to win. Let's go and watch the X3 race just a little bit. We are in the safety car. <laughs> oh, oh, that that is that is brilliant. That is brilliant. The fact that we're actually able to that that's brilliant. We're actually able to cut to. Uh, the X3 race during the broadcast because because I mean the X3 race guys drivers championship up for grabs and it's a three-way battle as well yeah it's, it's they're in the safety car right now fight nice Waldo in P1 Waldo currently leading Atwe in second Kellis Jackson in third Tom in fourth away. Snape fifth that's the top five at the moment the safety car is coming in we at the end of this lap, and as it stands, it's going to be Waldo right there, that wraps up X3 Championship. Let's, let's listen to Insane. Wait to see out. when he's going to drop the hammer. And Atwe has totaled the car! And the final corner the power down! Atwe's out! Atwe's out! And the car is Oh, that's an absolute disaster, That was an absolute disaster for Atwe. I don't think Atwe is one of the championship contenders. Waldo is, Retro Mixie is. Let's go back to, to X1. Who the other one is, but we're back. We're back with the X1. Ultimate still leading, 2.2 seconds ahead of CJ. Sasha still within DRS range of each other. Uh, let's see who else is fighting. Hassel is right behind Sack. In fifth and eighth for Haas at the moment. And King gets a time penalty. Fifth and eighth for Haas. That'll be more than enough to secure the Constructors' Championship. Mexican driver XRL Lyrica just trying to catch up on um, JVL and Chinese driver. Hassel with uh, a time penalty now. Hassel, Hassel, he was my teammate. He's a really good driver. To be honest, he's a very, very good driver. Hassel just about, about to get sacked in the, in the mainstream? In the DRS? I don't think it's going to be enough. Sack got a very, very Sasha good... not able to... Sasha not able to get past... CJ at the moment. Hazel Mead was still on the Irdica back just of Sack. Irdika just overtook JVL. In the second, in the second DRS section. going to come of it at the moment. That was a very good movement for me, Irdika. Let's watch the game. Go for the instant replay. And right there, it's... We change the screen so got, right now. So we've got a small. So here we go. Instant replay here. Irdika winning the position. And just a little bit of a tap, a but it was very good. Irka and JBL battling through that triple apex chicane. And Irka just slammed the door on JBL. Oh, what happened to Oli? Very well played, Defamerdica is Castle. right behind his teammate. Something's wrong, something's wrong. 
Sack disconnected. This, or... this is the other thing to take into account. As far as the bottom of the Constructors' Championship is concerned, the Battle of the Wooden Spoon, not a battle, not a battle Red Bull would have thought they'd be involved in come the end of the season. But it's happened it... regardless. As it stands, it's going to be Benno overtaking Red Bull, and Red Bull are going to walk away with Wooden Spoon. Can you listen to me, you can see? Can see, can you hear me? So can see. The... Can you hear me, man? I believe I Another big lock up there. Okay, that's a little concerning. Oh, that explains why I couldn't hear you. See, I had, I had my volume control turned way oh. down. <laughs> can, you, can you listen to me now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. 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 It was a problem. It was a problem on my end because I had turned uh, the volume control on my mic all the way. Oh, I just, I just got kicked from the session. Can you bite me again, please? Uh, Meanwhile, uh, let's go and watch a commercial real quick. Are you looking for a more realistic F1 feel in your sim racing? ANSI 3D is the solution for you. ANSI 3D is a 3D printing company based in the United States. We sell F1 style wheels for Logitech G29, G920, and the G923 wheel set with all wheels including high quality real suede fabric on the handles for maximum comfort. All wheels can be fully customized by picking your own colors for the handles and buttons. Also, you get to select a free logo of your choice to be printed on your wheel. We also have all Formula One 3D printed tracks available for sale on our website. For more information or to place your order now, log on to our website at www.ansi3d.com. That's A-N-S-E 3D.com. Don't delay, check us out today. And I'm thinking, I think we're back, can't see? We had a little bit yeah, of there we go. there. So, uh, ultimate, ultimate, amazingly, not able to extend his lead as much as he would like. He's The gap is up to three seconds, but he's not extending it as much as he would like. Sorry for the technical issues, guys. We had a problem with the connection, but we are back. Yep. So there we go. That's us back. There we go. We've got the last feed once again. Sash and CJ still battling over second place. And yet. And the. And yet, despite. You know, despite these two battling with each other, Ultimate still not able to extend the gap as much as he would like. I mean, at this, at this point last week in brazil he 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 was almost like he was uh extending he was extending it every single corner never mind every single lap to the point where he was able to get a pit stop in hand and uh keep keep the lead on on route to his first grand slam yeah could, could this be his second grand slam could very well be <laughs> It's, uh, <laughs> that, will be, does, that will be amazing but of course, history. But of course, bearing in mind he does have a three-second time penalty, so if CJ can keep within that three-second window, it could deny 
ultimate that second Grand Slam on the trot. The Grand Slam in Formula 1, it's a very, very rare achievement. And now look at, at, at Irving, Penku and Sola, they're fighting for the last position the points. And now Zach carving his way to the Zach carving his way back through the field. Here comes Penku on Zola. Easy as that. Thank you very much. I'll have a bit of that, says Penku. And Sola wants the uh, revenge here with the DRS. But I think Penko will have the RS too. No, he didn't. Oh, it. oh, hang on, heads up. Hang on. Uh, Pen Penko got a good run, but Zach had a lightning. He had so much more traction than Zola coming out of that chicane. And now Zach back into the points. So he just got two positions in one lap. Oh, and Irving, Irving got the position from Zola. Oh, my word. Zola's lost three positions in, in, the, in the space of just a handful of corners. Unlucky for him. CJ, CJ first front runners into pits. Ten laps on mediums, and he's gone for another set of mediums. I would imagine he'll be going for a set of softs to get to the end of the race. Gap, bet gap between Ultimate and Sasha. Now it is four point two seconds. I wouldn't be too surprised if they end up coming for a pit stop at some point. But of course, of course, bearing in mind, Zola did say 12 laps maximum on sauce, 16 on mediums. Theoretically possible to do that one-stop strategy, but it is going to require... It is going to require a lot of uh, time management. Hazel and Ollie, meanwhile, battling for third place. And Ollie, I think he's just managed to get ahead. But Waddington, he wants a piece of the action. Is he going to get the double overtake? Three wife? He's sandwiched in between them all, my word! <laughs> and somehow, still side by side with Ollie, he's gonna try to get the outside, oh my word! And Ollie, Ollie's lost the back end and makes it through! My goodness me! <laughs> this was a very, very good overtake from Wellington. It deserves we watch it again. Three wide. Yeah, well, yeah, three, three wide. Heading up to that triple apex chicane. There he is, three wide, banging wheels, and somehow he sustained no damage. Still, as he was still side by side with Ollie, heading round that left hander. Small clipping with the slightly clipped handle there, and Ollie just lost it. And Waddington just sayonara, Ollie. Ultimate race leader into the pits. Oh, and Ollie got in, got sp got spun again. Oh, oh no, poor Ollie. Gonna race to forget for him. Oh, careful! Oh my word! <laughs> last thing we need, last thing we need to repeat of Brazil. <laughs> last thing we need to repeat of last week. As of right now, Haas is going is, is securing the championship. Yes, absolutely. Both McLarens still out of the. Both say, well, King does have a point on, does potentially have a point on offer, but uh, with the penalties coming into play, I don't think, as it stands, I don't think he's going to be keeping that point. He's just going for Ledger. King of One is in the hard tire. In this track, do you want to avoid the hard tire as much as possible? Yeah, because all I did say in the stream chat earlier. With the hard tires, good luck. You're gonna need it. Because I think this, because it's safe to say this is one of those tracks that just, as far as the using the hard tires are concerned. Oh my word! Oh dear! Oh dear! Oh dear! Yeah. Uh, JBL, um, JBL and uh, Hurricane had a small coming together. I don't think Hurricane has any damage at the moment. It doesn't look like. It looks okay at the moment. He just um, he's still got a place. He's okay at the moment. Erdika with a time penalty. I only wants a little bit of Erdika there. He has even is there have the same old lap old tires, 
So this is pure pace, pure, pure driver pace. And yep. that's what Oli, Oli, he just spun before in the last lap here. So it's going to be interesting to see him go. Is he going to go for the overtake and the DRS? Yeah, he, but also Irdika has the DRS. So it's going to be interesting to see if Irdika gets the position or maybe he, he can overtake King F1. No, it's going to be, he, he's, oh, Irdika could lose the position. He didn't get DRS from King F1. Uh, so Oli is going to be getting the position from Irdika in this. Yeah, ultimate, ultimate meanwhile has just got a header. Hazel in uh, second place. No Grand Slam for ultimate today. No Grand Slam today. He got affected by that pit stop, but still. But, uh, but interestingly, so for his second stint interestingly do you want to start another prediction what can we say is there going to be a safety car in the in the race or not or what what do you want what do you think it should be better ultimate does get the fastest lap of the race so far he managed to he managed to carve over a second out of that lead Danny into the pits, 13 laps on those soft tyres. One stop onto mediums, it is doable. There he is, he does indeed go onto the mediums. Ultimate is just, he's just hunting Sasha down. He's in the soft tyre, Sasha still needs to pit. That is very, that is true, he still needs to make his stop. I think Sasha's going to try the one stop mediums potentially. Ultimate, safe point for a two-stopper. Ultimate with a time penalty. Interesting. He has a three-second time penalty. Yeah, he picks that up earlier in the race. Waddington trying to keep within touching distance of Hazel for third place. Meanwhile, he should be uh, he should be able to get he should be able to get that podium position, uh, Waddington, without much difficulty. I think that we're at half distance. Sasha leads. He's nipped the gap now down to 1.5 seconds. 1.2 seconds. 1.1. That gap is ultimately going to be within the RS range before we know. It. So much more race pace than Sash at the moment. The gap is being destroyed totally. He's in the soft tires. Sasha is losing too much time. Too much time. He needs to pit now. Yeah. But I, I mean, realistically, I don't see the soft tires lasting 14 laps. And there we go. Didn't even, Ultimate didn't even need the DRS. <laughs> and he's back in the lead of the race. We'll watch another fight. Hey, King of he might, right he managed to make that. Only. Yeah, uh, Ultimate managed to make that overtake just before the DRS activated. Fiend in chat saying Sosco 12 out of push. Yeah, now that realistically, you're, realistically, realistically, you're going to need to wait until like lap 16, lap 17, roughly, to be able to get that one stop onto the soft part. That's interesting because Ultimate decided to pit earlier. Yeah, there were, but indeed there were a few drivers that did uh, pit early, Ultimate especially. But it looks, but it looks like at the end of the day he's going for uh, the um, going for the safe two-stop strategy. And JVL King and JB. King of One. Oh dear. Got into a little bit, a little instant. Uh, extra thing in the chat saying, oh, unless Ultimate is doing a two stop, I don't think a two stop is an option here. You can probably do a one stop, and Sasha can get the advantage there. Indeed, it, but of course, like, yes, because, like we've said, it does, yeah, but it's.
he and so and smooth are the only soft runners right now extra money is right yes. in the back of solar yeah, yeah. I, would, I would imagine for smooth especially i would imagine he's going to try and get the fastest lap outside the top 10. we do have points for fastest lap inside the top 10 and points for fastest lap outside the top 10. There's also a bonus point for a penalty free. It's, uh, we've also got a bonus point for a driver that accumulates the least number of penalties. And if it's a tie, it goes to the fastest that between those drivers. Uh, Mon just got the overtake on Solar. Certainly made that look easy. And now Solar wants, wants to come back and get that position back, but Mon got a little bit faster exit there and it's not going to be enough danny wants a piece of it Warrington, meanwhile the first of the waddington comes in to make his stop he's going he's gone one stop ledger with a time penalty yeah drivers with the medium tire they're now 16 laps old they need they want to pit for the soft tires yeah this is the opportune time to do so It's the going to be interesting because Sasha now has a eight second gap, nine second gap for, to ultimate. Indeed, but of course, ultimate only has three seconds worth of penalties. It's going to be it's going to be interesting what Sasha does and what what he if his strategy works or not. Did Wellington get past J? BL for eighth place. Meanwhile, didn't lose that many positions in the grand scheme of things. Ledger, meanwhile, tries to get ahead of Sack. The Sack having none of it. managing to keep fifth place very very well played you see because he's a he's a clean racer but he's also a, he's a clean racer but he's a great racer in general sasha into the pits 17 laps that's that's very well done being up to the last 17 laps on those mediums And the undercut for Waddington worked. Very well played from Waddington. The undercut worked for him. Ten laps to go here. Haas are going to wrap up the title as it stands. And it will be Red Bull that walk away with the wooden spoon, unfortunately. Yeah, it looks like Red Bull is going to be getting the last position of the Constructors' Championship. It's it's sad, but still, remember yeah. the drivers swapped, changed positions. Yeah. It's a, just a perfect example of how the mighty have fallen, but hopefully we see them back up, uh, back up uh, on a regular basis. What do you say if we go and, and have a sneak peek on X3? Yeah, let's have a look as uh, Sack comes and his stop the ex waldo still leading the race and as it stands he will wrap up the drivers championship whippy in second got in third 
Retro Peter fourth, Boothie, Snake, Retro Rixie starting to make his way back through the field. He's up in seventh. He's got Kellis Jackson right behind him. The gap from Waldo and Whippy is 13 seconds, so that's probably the championship one for him, right? And that's and that's providing uh, providing nothing spectacular happens. And as and as we say, that Waldo does come into the pits. 17 laps on those mediums. He'll be going for the softs to get to the end of the race. And, and as to pick up a time penalty, Retro Rixie trying to keep Careless Jacks behind him. Waldo is going for the pit stop. He's going to be ending the race yep. with the soft tire. And that and that puts Tome in lead of the race at the moment. Torpedo in second. Waldo only dropping down to third. But he is right on the back of Torpedo. Me meanwhile, let's go back to X1. Indeed, Ultimate back in the pits. Another set of sauce. He'll be going for the fastest lap. It's interesting because he did a two stop. Yeah, medium soft soft. He, if he wants to win, he has eight four. laps to get to get thirteen seconds. Yeah. I mean, th those soft tires, uh, those medium tires are going to be like m midway through their lifespan at the moment. Yeah, those kind of those kind of strategy calls are the ones that work. I feel to say it. Yeah. But he needs to close in at about probably looking at about a second and a half a lap roughly. Yeah, Sash is just at the back of Wellington. Eight more laps for has to win the championship, the constructors championship. Yeah. And it's not in the points. But that Anderson was all down to uh, got being, into an incident. being caught up in. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, first lap incident, really unlucky for that. And um, let's say King. He has done well to recover it into the points, but he's only ninth at the moment. It won't be enough. CJ meanwhile comes into the pits. He's going for a softs as well. And that's gonna put Ultimate back into the lead of the race. And there goes Ultimate down the main straight. The gap is the gap is very big. I, I'm not sure if it's going to work. CJ on the back of Penku. This for second place. Danny's gone. Danny's out. And there. Oh, virtual safety car. VSC. VSC. Virtual safety car. Not a, not a full safety car. Not sure what happened there, but. Uh, oh, he, he was probably assume... he was probably a, a victim of the. Of the pianos in there. If you touch the pianos there, you're going to be having a very bad time. Yeah, I was like, I was like, I've I've done it before. I've um, I was like, yeah, I was like, I've 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 done that before. <laughs> yeah, I mean, too, I've been there multiple times. Yeah. Penguo yeah. in the hard tires. That's true, Fiend. Penguo's in the hard tire and he's in P3. Uh, Warrington. He's in the soft and it's within a second, so he's probably going to lose that position and also to Sasha. Yes. Six laps to go now. Waddington fourth, Sack in seventh. Sack not pushing as hard as he normally does, but he's uh, but look, but I would imagine he's gone for the Alan Prost approach. Evening. Just make sure he'll he'll just be thinking. 
just make sure I outsource McLaren to wrap up the Constructors' Championship. That's all I need to do. Not yeah. going for anything, not for, going for anything fancy, nothing too aggressive. One of the meanwhile, he is determined to get a slot on the podium. He's right on the back of Penku for third place. He's going to get him probably in the in this next. Yeah, he got a much better exit. Ooh, he's not even going to yeah, make the race. Penku took way too much curb on the exit of that chicane. Waddington, there he goes. Nothing Penku can do about it unless he breaks ridiculously late. But oh, that's not happening. Oh, that was so little Waddington. bit. Yeah. But uh, Waddington now into third. If he manages to close the gap down, if he manages to close the gap between himself and CJ, he could very well get himself into second place. If he can even get the P1. With the time penalties, if he gets, if he gets a position. He plays, right. yeah. he realistically might need to rely on Ultimate and CJ making a fair chunk of mistakes. Oh, that's true. He needs to close the gap at least nine seconds. I yeah. don't, I don't think it's going to be possible. Yeah. Or at the very least, have Alton get up to 12 seconds of penalties and CJ up to six. Sack, meanwhile, gets the fastest lap of the race. So that'll be another point for Haas. And another step closer towards inevitability. <laughs> Would you imagine having a two times constructors champions team in XRL, considering how competitive it is? Well, well, Haas have done a fantastic job in the second half of the season, especially taking full advantage of the mistake that McLaren made in the second half of the season. I mean, I reckon one or two less DNFs for McLaren, and it, they could very well be the ones. He, was, was it a couple of less DNFs, and McLaren could have been seeing themselves as constructors champions. But what else can you do? Yeah. Henku the only one on hard tires, which is interesting. Sasha, meanwhile, has managed to get onto the back of Waddington. He's in DRS range. Five to go. Irdika currently P10. Only P9 with all those spins. Yeah. So only Waddington, Sasha, Henku, and Sack with no penalties at the moment. So it would be it would be between those four for the um, for the bonus point for the least number of penalties. Kane picks up another time penalty. Meanwhile, Smooth actually has um, no penalties as well. Coming to think of it. Some... Can you still listen to me, Kenzie? Yeah, yeah, I can still hear you. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, oh, yellow flag, sector three, sector three. Who is that? Oh, it's CJ. CJ? CJ's had it off. Thankfully, no damage. He just, he just had a, he just had a spin all moment. And that, ha and that, oh my word, that's allowed Waddington to close up! That's P2 for Waddington. And P3 for Sasha. And, C and CJ's actually had to come in! CJ's in the pit! Waddington now in second place! Oh my goodness me, well that's, well that's changed the course of the race entirely! I believe this changes, this confirms the, the supremacy of Haas in today's race because in the constructor yep. championship yeah it that all, all, all but confirms 
Haas will wrap up the Constructors' Championship. Sasha, meanwhile, is within DRS range of Wellington, but you've got behind them, you've got Penku within DRS range as well, but he's on the hard tyres. He's not, he's not going to be anywhere near trying to get ahead of Sasha for third place. King, meanwhile, oh, hello. King's got the fastest lap of the race. Ooh. Very nice, King. He's in the what? soft tires. Everyone is in the soft tires except for Penko. Very well played there from King. At least it'll help salvage something from today. Mon is fighting Soul again. He's going to be having a run at him with the DRS. They're probably both trying to get the, the fastest lap out of top 10. Indeed. Three laps to go now. Manticore. Yeah, we, we, we have uh, races every weekend on Sundays. We also have races on Wednesday, uh, Monday, ARL. We, remember to watch the, the channel and, and search for the calendar, in the, in the, the schedule, I mean, in, of the channel. And there you can find uh, every, every time every time we, we stream in this channel. We have, we, we have more than, I believe, more than eight streamers in, that participate in this, in this league. And it's, it's, it's very, very good. So we are just continuing to expand and oh no that anderson gone that is anderson gone that's bad for him that's bad for him not just for him but for mclaren as well yeah. oh dear oh dear right in the middle of the road and that's it unless waddington and zach have an absolute I mean, realistically, it's not. That, that's it. That's it. Constructors' title's over as far as Haas are concerned. I mean, of Bernie from McLaren, dare I say, they might as well just pack their bags and heck, go home. That's it. It's a real shame. They had such a strong start to the season, and then the second half of the season, it just just fell apart I mean dare I say this mirrors what happened to Robert Schwartzman in the uh, Formula 2 championship last season great part of the season and then just all fell apart seems not that yes indeed it is and you've got, look at this, you've got a five-car DRS chain of that podium, the podium sack all the way up into fourth. Sasha trying to, trying to look for a way past Waddington. Not quite able to make it stick, bit of a lock up there from Sack. Waddington almost losing the back end there. I think Sasha might be able to take full advantage here. DRS open. I think to bring out a VRS. Sasha's going to have a look. But Waddington covers the racing line. Very, very well played from Waddington. Covers the, covers the racing line perfectly and keeps second place. And as a result, that has allowed Sack to catch up to Sack in the hunt for third place. We're about to start the final lap. There it is. Last lap of the race. Five wins in a row for Ultimate, a complete, a complete uh, supremacy in, in next one. It's amazing. Yeah, I say he's going to be a serious championship contender next season, without a doubt. So yeah, hopefully. And so hopefully, hopefully we should be able to get something sorted so we can hear insane leaders. Common 
end of the show. They're just a couple of laps behind us. But Ultimate has just got half a lap to go now. Fifth win in a row. Zach just like got Caesar up, Sasha. Just said. And he's going for the overtake. Look at this, the Haas guys. Uh, uh, the two the two Haas boys battling it out. Oh, absolutely fantastic. Great battle for the podium. But we need to cut away. But we're going to need to pay attention are they going to, to the, ultimate uh, right now. Are they, are they looking Zach for the side-to-side side? Side side photography finish? Zach gets ahead of Whitington. But, he, but ultimate... It's coming around the... Comes round to win the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. And Sasha plummeting down the order. He's not going to get a podium today. Zach and Waddington. It is their moment. Their time. Their championship. Haas wrap up the Constructors' Championship. Zach and Waddington back-to-back -back Constructors' Championships. Absolutely fantastic. And running it, running it up with a P2 and P3. Yeah. Absolutely phenomenal performance. That is going to be a commanding gap between Haas and, Mc Haas and McLaren. Kenzie, meanwhile, meanwhile, let's but, go to, to the last lap of X3. Let's go to X... Let's, yeah, let's go to the X3 and let's hear Insane Leader on commentary for for this moment. So there we go. Big congratulations to Waldo for wrapping up the X3 Drivers' Championship. Fantastic job for him. Harry happy about his P5 finish. Big well done to him. Waldo, well done. X3 champion. 
and uh, and I absolutely yeah. Um, so um, I'm just going to try and quickly get the um, standings. Let's see if, well, I'll get try and get the standings up for the uh, for the race results. Bear with me. So, so we'll see if we can get the podium. Is, we'll see if we can get the uh, top three in. Uh, Ultimate, Waddington, and Sag. We'll see if we can get them in. Okay. As well, so yeah. So let's. Uh, so I'm just going to quickly recap the race results. You have Ultimate winning the race. Sack in second. Waddington third. Penku fourth. Sasha fifth. Hazel sixth. Ledger seventh. CJ in eighth. Ollie ninth. Erdika rounding up the top ten. Then you've got Mon, JBL, King, Zola. Followed by Smooth and Hurricane. Your non-finishers were Anderson and Danny. So that's so that's how the standings were. King did get the fastest with the fast lap outside. It was the fastest lap for um, let's say it was a so Sack Wanington Penku and Sasha with no uh, time penalties. But the crucial thing to take into account is who got the fastest lap out of those four. I believe that that would be part of what the admins will decide. But I, I meant, I meant, it's it's Cas, the constructor champion. Yeah. Absolutely, um, and uh, it is indeed Sack that has the fastest lap out of the four drivers that didn't pick up any penalties throughout the race. So Sack gets the bonus point for the time for the gets the bonus points for the least number of penalties accumulated throughout the race and because he did have the fastest lap of the race at one point his his lap time was overall the second fastest lap time of anybody so he gets the bonus point for the fastest lap inside the top 10 as well so fantastic job from Sack and Haas in general Haas are your X1 Constructors Championship champions big congratulations to them and on that note Note, that is it for this season with the XRL. Yep. And uh, another season that it... comes, another season that that, that yeah. flies, and it's going to be. Yeah. I'm I'm really happy because, as you said in early in the stream today, uh, we started with being uh, 20 drivers that wanted to race. We started first being five drivers that wanted to race together in a clean environment. And now we are uh, three tiers, Dev League, XNA, uh, three partner leagues, uh, PC tier. Now we're a big we're a big organization, got sponsors on, on board with us. And we remember guys, we're going to be doing a giveaway. The giveaway we were probably going to be doing it during, this, the, during the week, as I could not find the perfect uh, moment or uh, process to do it in b live in the stream so we're going to be doing it uh, in the in, in this in this next week uh, but yeah I'm, I'm really thankful to, uh, I really want to thank Sola and and all the all the admins Zach uh, Jono uh, Oli uh, all all the admins that yeah. are that, that participate in XRL and, and thank you them very much for yeah. all their a commitment with the league and and i just want to tell you guys thank you very much for giving those drivers these drivers uh, a very good place to to race yeah absolutely and, uh, and of course a big thanks to um every on big thank the league throughout uh season special not just um not just the admins but uh, also the drivers and of course and of course you guys watching at home without all of you being involved the xrl will be what it is today so there we go that's it that's uh, another season wrapped up well 
I say not just another race wrapped up this evening, but that's another season wrapped up for the XRL. Uh, join us in two weeks' time where we head to Silverstone for round one of season four. But in the meantime, uh, we're, we're going to be signing off. But thanks, thanks once again for watching, guys. Congratulations again to Haas and Sack for being our X1 champions this season. But for now, it's good night. Thank you very much and good night.